Alright guys, uh, so this is a motherboard and I noticed you might have a temperature reading problem. Um, so there are a few causes for that that you could uh, not read a steady temperature. So one problem is that you're not giving enough 5 volts or a steady 5 volts to the, to the motherboard. So if you notice that the temperature is fluctuating too much or jumping up and down, um, so this pin, the lower pin, it's also specifies here is 5 volt, and the middle pin is ground. Just add an external 5 volt to the board, um, because sometimes uh, the board takes a lot of current, the USB is not stable, so you get bad temperature readings. Uh, if you've done that, and uh, you still have problems, check the connectivity of your sensors. Now, the temperature sensors, let me just check. So this is a temperature sensor, and as you can see, hardly, there are two wires that are naked, just right at the tip. Now, when you put this into the heater block, and then you bend it a little, and then you place it there, then you tighten the screw, it is possible that this, uh, these, uh, um, these two wires touch each other or touch the frame. And uh, if you have just one faulty temperature sensor, then uh, it will cause all the others, or it may cause all the others to also get bad readings because in a way they are connected in here. So one way to test if you have a bad uh, temperature sensor is to unplug all the temp sensors and then plug the temperature sensor from the bed. And uh, you can connect it to the bed, see if the reading for the bed makes sense, and then you unplug it, you plug it to the extruder 1, extruder 2, extruder 3, and extruder 4. Now, if uh, you did that and uh, you are still read bad sensors, bad temperatures, um, because um, the bed temperature sensor is kind of free, so it doesn't go into the heater block, it's very less likely that it has bad connection. Um, just I remembered, one thing is that these dopant wires, sometimes they get loose, so when you plug them in, uh, if you, you, you kind of have to push it from the wire, because um, I don't know, it's, uh, this, this one is quite firm, but sometimes uh, uh, there's no actual connection. For example, now when I put this in, I feel some resistance, so it's not like it just comes off easily. Right? And if it does come off easily, then that means that there's no connection between the wire and the pin. So in that case, pull, pull it out. And then um, use a plier to make it round the metal part and then push it in or just push it in hardly so it goes in there and stays in there. There's a bit of latch here. Um, but uh, that will stop the plastic from coming off. Uh, but sometimes it's just not in the, la in the latch. So if you've done all that and you're still getting bad uh, Bad, uh, sensor, bad sensor readings, temperature readings, then just inspect the, inspect the board. So all the pins here. Um, now these pins, I think from zero to seven, uh, are connected to the temperature sensors. So they have to be clean, no debris in between them, or no oil, because sometimes oil becomes, uh, gets the, moisture and becomes conductive and then it screws the temperature readings. So just clean them with a brush or uh, with a Windex or any um, cleaning solution that you have. Make sure you unplug everything and clean the pins here. Uh, try it again. If that doesn't work, then uh, there are three caps here. So one, two, and this one. So this is an inductor. Just make sure that these things are soldered properly. You can re-solder these three and make sure that you don't uh, heat it up too much because if you heat up a capacitor, you may burn it and then have a short. 
So um, resolder one two three and uh, drag solder these pins because sometimes you know you, you install the board and then you may bend it and when you you bending it some some solder CS may crack so when you look at it it looks nice and connected but in fact it's like it's a it's it's a little on the top of the pad so there is like 0.1 or 0.01 millimeters distance but they are not actually connected so when you do the drag soldering here and drag soldering is you put a tip and then you move you drag it up or you put a tip here and then you drag it down and uh, that should take care of the problem and uh, that's it that's all so doing all these steps it should, it should work uh, if it doesn't work then I believe uh, uh, then you need a new word. Thanks a lot.